This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Dear students, in this video lecture, I will talk about the percentage composition of elements in the compound and percentage purity of sample. I will discuss few questions which involve the percentage purity concept. First of all, how to find mass percentage of each element in the compound? Take an example, uh, let us say Na2SO4. I want to find percentage of sodium here. I want to find percentage of sulfur here. I want to find percentage of oxygen here. And to find that, first find the molar mass of Na2SO4. Molar mass. Molar mass will be 2 into 23. 23 is the atomic mass of sodium plus 1 into 32. 32 is the atomic mass of sulfur plus 4 into 16. 16 is the atomic mass of oxygen. And this value comes as 142. So what can we say? Out of 142 grams, the contribution of sodium is actually 2 into 23 means 46 grams. So if I want to find percentage of sodium, I will write the mass of sodium, the contribution of sodium upon the total that is 142 gram into 100. This is the percentage of sodium and the value comes as 32.394. And same way if I want to find percentage of sulfur, look at the contribution of sulfur in this 142 gram. That is 32. So it will be 32 upon 142 into 100 and the value comes as 22.394. 535. Now percentage of oxygen. The contribution is 64 gram. So it will be 64 upon 142 into 100 and the value comes as 45.071. So conclusion is what? Percentage of sodium, sulfur and oxygen in Na2SO4 should always be 32.394, 22.535 and 45.071 respectively. If the percentage changes means Na2SO4 is not pure. My point is clear. If the Na2SO4 sample is given and the percentage of sodium is Less than 32.394, it means the sample is not 100% pure. Now, to understand the concept of purity, I will take few questions here. Here the question says, a given sample of urea, the formula of urea is given, contains 20% nitrogen. What is the percentage purity of sample? Now to understand whether given sample is 100% pure or not, we have to find percentage of nitrogen in the pure sample, 100% pure sample. So what I will do here, I will draw two containers. In one I will write 100% pure and another I will write sample. For 100% pure, I can write the molecular formula because only this urea is present in the container while here I cannot write the formula because uh, the urea will have some impurity. Now, to find percentage of nitrogen, first of all, what will you do? get the molecular mass or better I say molar mass. So it will be uh, how many nitrogen atoms are there? Two nitrogen atoms. So I'll write 
टू इंटू द एटोमिक मास ऑफ नाइट्रोजन इज फोर्टीन प्लस हाउ मेनी हाइड्रोजन आइटम्स आर देयर फोर सो फोर इंटू वन हाउ मेनी कार्बन आइटम्स आर देयर वन सो आल राइट वन इंटू ट्वेल्व प्लस हाउ मेनी ऑक्सीजन वन वन इंटू सिक्सटीन दिस वे द वैल्यू कम्स एज सिक्सटी ग्राम सिक्सटी ग्राम नाउ इन दिस सिक्सटी ग्राम वॉट इज द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन Two into fourteen means twenty-eight. So the percentage of nitrogen in this pure sample will be twenty-eight upon sixteen to hundred. If you solve, the value comes as forty-six point six seven percent. Now, what is given in the question? In the question, it is given that the sample contains How much nitrogen? Twenty percent, and the pure has got forty-six point six seven. So obviously the sample is not hundred percent pure. So I'll use unitary method to find the purity of the sample. What can I say? Forty-six point six seven percent nitrogen implies how much purity of sample? Hundred percent purity. So I will say. Forty-six point six seven percent nitrogen implies hundred percent pure sample. So, so given twenty percent nitrogen will imply how much purity? Hundred upon forty-six point six seven into twenty. If you solve. The value comes as forty-two point eight five percent pure sample. My point is clear. Now, to understand uh, this concept of purity in a better manner, I'll take another question here. Here, the question says, find out the percentage of nitrogen. In eighty percent pure ammonium sulfate sample. Now, if you compare this question with the previous question, in the previous question the percentage purity was asked, and the percentage of the element was given. While here the percentage of the element is asked, and the percentage purity of the sample is given. but the procedure will be very same i will draw two containers in one i will write 100% pure and in another container i will write sample in which case i can write the formula 100% so ammonium sulfate first of all what will you do Get the percentage of nitrogen in hundred percent pure sample. The sample is eighty percent. It's given eighty percent pure. So first, I'll find molecular mass or molar mass. Better I say, how many nitrogen atoms are there? Two. So I'll write two into fourteen plus how many hydrogen atoms are there? Eight. So I'll write eight into one. How many sulfur atoms? One. One into thirty-two. Plus oxygen four into sixteen, and this way the molar mass comes as one thirty two gram. Out of this one thirty two, what is the contribution of nitrogen? Twenty eight. So the percentage of nitrogen in this pure sample will be twenty eight upon one thirty two into hundred, and the value comes as. Twenty one point two one two. This is the percentage of nitrogen in hundred percent pure ammonium sulfate. Now we have to find percentage of nitrogen in eighty percent pure sample. What will you do? Unitary method. What can I say here? Hundred percent pure sample implies this much of nitrogen. Hundred percent pure sample implies how much nitrogen? Twenty one point two one percent nitrogen. So 
80% pure sample will imply how much? 21.212 upon 100 into 80. And if you solve, the value comes as 16.96% nitrogen. So, 16.96% nitrogen will be there in 80% pure ammonium sulfate. My point is clear. Here the question says, hematite ore contains an unwanted material called gang in addition to Fe2O3. Means this Fe2O3 is not pure. If 10 kilogram ore contains 5.56 kilogram of Fe, then find percentage purity of ore. I will request you all to attempt this question on your own and share your answer and solution with me at teacher at the rate of testpreparder.com. Okay? In this video lecture, we have learnt that how to find percentages of different elements with the help of formula of the compound. In the next video lecture, I will tell you how to find the formula of the compound with the help of percentage composition of different elements. In the next video lecture, I will talk about empirical formula and molecular formula. Thank you. This video is presented to you by www.testpreparder.com. Testpreparder.com provides free audio visual lectures of different subjects by expert faculties, free online tests prepared by expert faculties. To students who are preparing for engineering or medical entrance exams or planning to take exams like KVPY, Olympiad, etc. It provides a platform where students can interact with mentors to improve their performance in the exams. The mission of this online medium is to help students to achieve their goals. Log on to www.testpreparder.com to watch free video lectures on different topics, to download free revision notes, to take free chapter-wise online tests, progressive tests and mock tests, to discuss doubts with mentors. Thank you for watching the video. To stay up to date with the latest videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on our Facebook page, Test Prep Adda. All the best.